Hey guys, so welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So, has this ever happened to you? You're working on a beat and you have everything in place, it sounds quite nice already, but you feel that there's just a certain type of signature sound missing to make it really unique. And you go through all of the preset libraries of your favorite synthesizers, but you just can't find that sound that you have in your head already. When this happens, then it's probably the best idea to just record it directly into Sample One XT and then you can play that sound across the keyboard like any other synthesizer preset. Let me show you how that's done in Studio One. So this is an arrangement that I've came up with today and I really like it. It has a certain kind of melancholic vibe to it. But there's still some kind of signature sound, some kind of lead melody missing. And I thought, why not use some kind of whistle, right? Like... And I thought that could sound quite nice with a little bit of reverb on top. And I searched all of my synthesizer preset libraries and I just could not find a whistle sound like I just produced it with my mouth. And then I thought, why am I even searching if I've already produced the sound that I want? I could just sample that instead using Sample One XT and then play it across the keyboard like any other synth sound. So that's what I did and that's what I want to show you today. So if you have a microphone connected to Studio One, it's as easy as going to the instrument section and then grab grabbing sample one right here, drag that into your song and then you can switch over to the record tab right here. And this is where you could select the input of your microphone that you have connected to your audio interface. So in my case that would be input one. And then I just hit record and I can start whistling. Like that. Right? That's already all that's required. And now I can set the start and end point in sample one by clicking on wave, the wave tab here, and just set that to the beginning of this whistle and to the end of it. And the only thing that's left to do now is to go to the mapping tab and drag out the note range for this sample across the whole keyboard so that I can play it freely. For example, here on my Adam SQ or any other MIDI keyboard that I've connected, like so. Cool, right? And yeah, this doesn't sound like much right now, but watch what happens as soon as I throw some reverb on there. It can turn into a really nice airy sound effect that way. So let me just go ahead, double click open air here from the effects. And we have this beautiful library of new 3D impulse responses in here. And one in particular that I really like to use with these kinds of whistles and airy sounds is the super large space metal sphere. This one. So I just drag this preset onto my sample one and this is what it looks like and usually I dial back the mix a tiny bit otherwise it's just too much reverb. I like it to be around 35% or so and just listen what open air has done to this very simple whistle recording. Lovely, right? And best of all, we could now go ahead, right click this track and save the entire configuration as a track preset for use in all of our other productions. So I would just call that whistle sound or something like that, hit OK, and then it would show up in the instruments section here under track presets. And now I could grab this whistle sound and import that into any project and it would bring in the sample one XT with the recorded sample plus the open air preset applied. And yeah, I could have also drag and drop that by the way. Just take the entire instrument track if you want to do that and drag that into the track presets folder inside of the instruments browser. That also works. And it's just a beautiful thing for all of my future productions. Right, you get the idea. 
Sometimes it's not necessary to go through all of the preset libraries of your synthesizers. Just create that sound from scratch and make it unique and truly your own. It just takes a microphone and Sampler 1XT. Thank you for watching.